step by step SEO training course for 2024 how to SEO HTML title element in this video session we're going to learn how we're meant to approach search engine optimization of a title element W3 web standards tells us each web document should have one title element title element is not visible to people per se unless they hover over the browser tab as we can see okay so when someone hovers over it that's the only time they can see it and yet the source code of it has the title element i'll show you what that looks like on a new document here that's a HTML document and that's the title tag and it is placed within the head portion most content management systems allow you to customize the title element we're looking at a popular WordPress site using a plugin we can insert our own titles when you optimize your title you need to reinforce the keywords that you're targeting in the URL portion and in the previous video session I've shown to you what URL is all about in terms of Google rankings so then let's look at the source code of this document by pressing on Control U on our keyboard and here we can see now when Google looks at a landing page as we now know that it looks at the entire HTML document and Google can actually analyze the title element as well let's conduct a Google search let's do something like this let's grab this sample web page and let's grab this HTML title so that's the title of this document if we look at the source code then we can see the title will be somewhere and that's where it is okay so that's the title but I want you to see what happens when we search Google like this all in title that's an advanced Google search operator all in title colon let's wrap those keywords within double quotes and let's conduct the Google search this search pattern tells Google hey Google from your database bring me results according to these keywords but make sure that you bring the documents back to me that contains these keywords all in the title of a web document let's press enter and look what happened the reason I show you this is because how Google analyzes web pages and importance of the title element because if Google can bring this then you need to step back and say okay how do I then optimize my own website's title element which is straightforward process in this landing page I have provided some samples but while here let me share tips and tricks with you if you're a local business do not include your domain name in the title element it's okay to include the domain name for the front page for contact us page and about us page but your blog posts or services page they should not contain the domain name in the title element but let's imagine you're an e-commerce operator same principles apply you should not try to brand let's say this sample URL sample e-commerce site the title of this document should not be 
branding like this for product URLs. For e-commerce, you can include your domain name or business name for the front page, contact us page, perhaps even terms and conditions, about us page and so on, okay? Because, you know, it's just common sense, right? This particular URL should be about this product, not necessarily the branding and so on, okay? In fact, 2024 Google ranking world will change drastically. And when we understand the concepts that you are now learning, then creating helpful, reliable, people-first content can be accomplished much easier. Because when you create the title, you're basically, you know, creating the title for the web document that you're creating. You don't want to keep repeating keywords and keywords and keywords because that's not people first content. That's trying to gain higher Google, Google rankings per se. Make sense? So creating title element will depend on the content management system that you're using as in your ability to create it because some content management systems do allow you to create titles and customize them whereby others do not. I thank you for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.